Got to get, got to get my water base down before <laughs> we start getting crunk today. Oh boy, we are live on YouTube All right. and on Instagram. Well, rock on. Hey everybody in YouTube world, welcome to our live happy hour today and on the gram. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We have a super easy to make cocktail. <laughs> it's only 53 ingredients. <laughs> so, it's a special uh, one. This is a very special cocktail. Um, as you may have noticed, we didn't do a happy hour, what, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we didn't do a happy hour. Um, so, actually, I'll just let you kind of. Are you going to be? No, I'm okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. Right. Uh, yes, two weeks ago, we were celebrating Uncle Julio um, with Aunt Jane and the whole family, and my dad, and my brother, and my mom. Uh, and all of his family that came out from Chicago and all of our family in Pennsylvania. And anyway, it's a big celebration. Um, Uncle Julio has moved on. He is watching over us. So thank you, Uncle Julio. Uh, we are making, Uncle Julio is Puerto Rican, and they know how to have a good time, if I do say yeah. so myself. We have a little bit of Latino, a little of yes, Latino, music Latino music going on in the, in the background, background today. Yep. And we are making a coquito, yes. which is a Puerto Rican eggnog. Yeah, you know, it's looking this at like family's traditional recipe. Yes, I'm loving every single ingredient <laughs> here. Uh, I have not made this before, and looking at it, it looks very much like a mixture of a sweet eggnog and oh, almost like a. Hold on, uh, they can't hear anything. Oh, they can't hear anything. Uh huh. Oh, Hit well. your button. Hey, it might help if my, my microphone. Was on. Is it on now? Okay. I don't see it. Is it on? Did somebody say they can't hear me? Well, no. I see. There's no audio. Oh, okay. Is, it, is your light yep. blue? Yep. Light is blue. Okay. There we go. All it's right, working go. now. Okay. So, so sorry. Dana's going to come back. <laughs> I'm going to try that She's going to tell you all again what it is we're making today and why is it that we're making this yes. uh, today. Because a couple weeks ago, you may have noticed we didn't do a happy hour so so we are please. celebrating uncle julio uh sorry for the technical issue there but it still got it. the audio oh it did everybody has it everybody has the audio somebody tell us if they have the audio <laughs> okay we have the audio all right well okay this is in celebration of uncle julio watching up above we celebrated with the whole family two weeks ago uh his life and we are going to make puerto rican eggnog yeah yes okay. called a Coquito. Yes. Coquito. Uh, yeah, so looking at the ingredients, if you like horchata, you like eggnog, and you like boozy eggnog, or like rum chata, this is going to be totally up your alley. Uh, I have not made this before, so I'm super excited to make this. Now, you can see there's a lot of ingredients, and as Dana mentioned, Uncle Julio, uh, you know, Puerto Rican, big parties, things like that, lots of family. This is what we're making today is going to be for one glass. But normally, this would actually use three bottles <laughs> of this 151 rum. Three bottles. So this is cut down to a 124th size for you if you want to make it a single glass. My recommendation, though, was just make all of it and just stick it in your fridge and have a little bit. It's, it's a lot. I mean, <laughs> even this is more than, a lot, more than a glass, but, but yes. Uh, anyways, we're going to dive into this. We're going to put the ingredients in the description. We're going to put the measurements in the description because some of these, when you break it down that far, is going to be kind of funky, especially when we're talking about 3.17 ounces of something, <laughs> you know, and half of uh, of an egg yolk. It's, it's not <laughs> the easiest, I promise. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, is the audio good? Everybody can hear us. Everybody can see us. We're good. We're I good. think so. Right. I do think so. I sure hope so anyway. I'm going to get my water in before I get... <laughs> before you get your eggnog in? Get my eggnog in. Okay, so uh, what we're going to use today is... The blender, so this is all going to be blended. And we're just going to kind of add these in 
And yours are all pre-measured for you. Yeah. And so fortunately I have them, you know, pre-measured for me. I just got to toss them in here and blend them up. So first thing is, is we're going to start with 3.5 ounces has to be carnations evaporated milk has to be this brand per uncle julio's family mm -hmm. so 3.5 ounces make sure you get it all yeah and you'll need you'll definitely need your spatula if when you get oh, to yeah. that condensed milk or the uh coconut cream oh, and for sure <laughs> and then we have 3.5 ounces of the uh coconut cream here that's that one yeah now, the coconut cream it's kind of funny it comes in this squeeze bottle it almost looks like uh it's very thick. Coconut uh, oil, like uh, mm -hmm. just a little bit softer. So 3.5 ounces of the coconut cream. Doesn't matter which brand. No, that, that didn't coconut. have a specific brand. Yeah, the carnation was specific. Carnation is specific. Okay, gotcha. And if you've never tried this coconut cream, it tastes so freaking good on its own. Oh my gosh. Slightly, slightly digging. Just I, I got to figure out some <laughs> stuff, some other things to do with the uh, with the coconut cream itself. Uh, we got three point five ounces of the coconut milk, and what we have here today is a uh, Thai coconut milk, and so we have three point five ounces of the coconut milk. This one's definitely creamy. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, perfect. The cutest little measuring cups. I know. Aren't these adorable? All right. And now this is kind of funny. What, Dana, what happened when you asked, uh, uh, was it Uncle Julio's brother how much brown sugar to put in there? <laughs> yeah. Here, here's his response. <laughs> He says he just takes the bag and he just kind of dumps it in. And I was like, until the color looks right. Until the color looks right. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just take the bag of brown sugar. I just, I just dump it in. Well, I mean, you know, it's like, what was it, half a bag? It was about half a bag. Well, I was like, so. half a bag? What size is the bag? That's, you know, that's the question, right? I was trying to write all this down. So <laughs> what we've kind of come to is, uh, for this particular ratio, is one teaspoon brown sugar. Aunt Jane typed in. She says, thank you. Love this. Very special. Oh, Aunt Jane, we miss you. Love you so much. And uh, miss and love Uncle Julio so much. All right. Uh, one ounce of the vanilla extract. No, just, I'm sorry. Did I say one ounce? Yes. Well, one tenth of an ounce. Okay. <laughs> just a skosh. One tenth of an ounce. Just a little poop. So here we go. Boop. And there it is. That Perfect. might have been too much, <laughs> but that's okay because vanilla is delicious. All right. Now, this is another very specific one here. Yes. The, yeah, how do you pronounce this? Mogan David. Mogan David Concord wine. It has to be yes. this specific wine yes. per the family recipe. Okay. And uh, this is 6.34 ounces <laughs> Remember that. Okay. Otherwise, it would be six bottles. It would be six bottles in the uh, normal size recipe. I feel like we need to just make that. Oh, nice. my goodness. It's a big pot. Perfect. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a happy hour. It'd just be extended. Yes. You right. Know what I mean, right. And we have 3.17 ounces of 151 rum. Yes. So the family prefers Bacardi 151. That was hard for us to get. Sometimes in the Northwest here, it's a little challenging to get certain brands. It certainly is. So we went with Largo Bay. It had great reviews. Perfect. I think when it's 151 rum, it's going to blast you anyways. <laughs> Oh yes, I was specifically told Breathing when you fire. feed, when you, when you serve this to people, you tell them, be cautious on getting up. Do not get up too quickly. If you've had several of these, <laughs> just you get up, pass out, <laughs> boom, be careful getting off the couch. I don't want to buy a new table because you're just going to belly flop on it. Okay. So we have the rum and now we have half of an egg yolk. Yes. What a fun uh, recipe this is going to turn out to be. I already, right? love, I already love everything that's going on here. Okay. Well, since it has egg, you could have this for breakfast, right? <laughs> and 
It I has mean, wine. You maybe. You can have it with dinner. You, can, maybe. you almost have every single thing going on here. Right. And we're even about to have some spice in there. Yeah. This is a proper meal. Oh, there, okay. There you go. Done. <laughs> it's a meal replacement. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I should bottle, <laughs> bottle this up and sell it as a multi-level marketing. Oh product. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to toss this on to the old trusty Vitamix and blend this baby up. How long do we blend it for? I did it for 30 seconds, 30 but I did, seconds. I did do it to high so that it would 30 go. seconds on high. You got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll just let that thing do its thing. I'm very excited about it. Now, you want to serve this over ice? There we are. And there's a couple different ways you could garnish this. You could garnish it with some uh, ground cinnamon, or you could do a cinnamon stick. Uh, that is up to you. I don't want to how you want to do that? Oh my gosh, look at that. Perfect. At the end there, if you're wondering why, what I just did, is sometimes when it gets frothy on the top, in your uh, mixture, in your blender, if you set it back to a low speed, it'll kind of pull those bubbles back down in there so it doesn't make it all frothy on top. Oh, here we go. This smells like one of those candles from Bed Bath & Beyond. Is that a good thing? It smells like coconut oh. and sugar and <laughs> wine and, oh my gosh. It's very pretty. If I ran into a girl at the club that smelled like this. <laughs> this is a 21 and up. Usually. Usually. <laughs> Kids, if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your parents. Oh boy. <laughs> oh look at that look at that yes 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 i suppose oh. if somebody likes nutmeg they could also do nutmeg look at that and it's got this really cool uh kind of pastelish pink color mm -hmm. to it mm. 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 oh yeah baby hmm. <laughs> you get the wine though you, do. you really do get the wine not so much the rum which is surprising, but everything I tasted makes that it rum so by itself. buttery smooth. I tasted that rum by itself. That is a strong rum. Mm. We'll show so everybody on the gram, see. on the tube. On the tube, we do it for you. Oh my gosh. Pretty, I don't want to tilt it anymore and spill it like I have All right. <laughs> That's like my favorite part about this. I, I like it with the cinnamon. You like it with the cinnamon? I do like it with the cinnamon. Ooh, yeah. Oh, give it to me, baby. Look at how pretty yes. that is. I know. It's like this perfect consistency. My goodness. And it's so buttery smooth, too. Mm -hmm. I'm just... Ooh, you I'm really gonna... get the creaminess from all the coconut cream and coconut milk. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. The other way this you... one's more full, so you guys can all see it there. It's pretty. Come oh, up a little bit. Yeah, baby. There you are. Mmm. Wow. Beautiful. Mmm. Oh, yes. The cinnamon on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the cinnamon is just the extra. Um... All right. Let me get one more. Let's cheers to uh, Uncle Julio. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Get you one real quick. Any more ice? Blessed. I'll get a little bit more here. So I know this is made traditionally around the holidays. I'm kind of curious. Does anybody make this like, you know, halfway through the year? You know how there's like June 25th, halfway to Christmas. Some people sell it Christmas in July. They, you know, things like that. Does yeah. anybody make this? Yeah, some people do like year? a summer Thanksgiving. You know? Right. Another Thanksgiving in the summertime. Yeah, I know a lot of people uh, do that, or they do like a half Christmas. Half you know? of the year? Yep. Which would be your birthday. It would be my birthday. Yeah. Six months from Christmas. I kind of make out. Works out pretty well. Yeah. There you go, West. Thank you. All right. So, 
We're going to toast to Uncle Julio. Yes. Toast to Uncle Julio. Acevedo family. Yeah. Right? Cheers. 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 Love you. Love you. Ooh. Love this concoction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yummy. So good. So well, yummy. thank you guys so much for joining us today on another fun happy hour. I would love to, you know, hear your thoughts. Obviously, this drink is a little complicated, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this uh, if you get a chance to make it. Also, if there's a family recipe that you would like to share with us that we can try, that would be awesome as well. And uh, of course, if you have any friends, family, uh, or other cocktail enthusiasts that you know, share the uh, channel and like and subscribe and all that fun jazz for us. But other than that, uh, we'll see you next week here, 3.30 Pacific time, for another awesome happy hour where we're going to share some really fun cocktails coming up uh, that is going to kind of get you ready for the summertime, which is right around the corner. So anyways, uh, we will see you guys next time. Again, thank you so much for joining us and uh, have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful happy hour. Later.